We're going to begin this morning with something of a test. Perhaps, in a sense, I am seeking some kind of self-validation to see whether what has been said over the last six years or so has taken residence at all in those who sit in the pew. A Jewish rabbi <laughs> once said that much of what the scriptures demand can be summed up in one word. One word. Okay, you're not allowed to answer the next okay. thing. <laughs> what is the word? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> the word, dear friends, <laughs> is not love. <laughs> that may have been Jesus, and this is a different Jewish rabbi that we're speaking about. Is remember. <laughs> remember. Please remember that it is remember. And so. I invite you to cast your own thoughts back 2,478 days. A day where a number of our global headlines relayed the news of the death of a politician, of an activist, of the then former president of South Korea, Kim Young Sam. A day where, despite the many prayers that were offered up by level-headed sporting fans, Djokovic still managed somehow to defeat Federer in straight sets. Sunday, the 22nd of November 2015, also happened to be the day that many of us met each other as it was the very first time that I would set foot in this pulpit to preach and as we say in the Presbyterian tradition to preach with a view to a call. Today is my final sermon and I'm deliberately with every fiber of my being, attempting to steer clear of the type of sentiment that was expressed a few weeks back and that will be expressed most fully in next Sunday service, which will be my final service with you. Yaku has been gracious enough to offer to preach on that occasion. I've chosen to end with the words that began this courtship 354 weeks ago. Words about faith and doubt. Words that draw very closely to the heart of part of the text that we heard this morning. Words that I think complement the devotional series that you will hear midweek online, in particular the, the last one that Yaku recorded. Words penned by the Reverend Dr. John Borman. Hear them perhaps as personally addressed to you. Do you struggle, he writes, to keep your faith strong and confident. Many people do. They find that their faith ebbs and flows with a sense of self-worth that they are experiencing or the fortunes that they are going through in life generally. And many people worry about the fluctuations that they have in regard to their faith. The sentence that I would draw your attention to in particular out of the very well-known text this morning comes from verse 17. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted.